Hi everybody, just wanted to talk today about something that's been on my heart, um, there's been some controversy about motivation for street preaching, and uh, you know, I've heard ministers say, well you got a lot of zeal but not a lot of brains, or you know, <laughs> and uh, Galatians 4 it says it's good to be zealously affected towards a good thing so zeal isn't a bad word when it's directed towards something that's good and you know I've been saved since 1990 and they've been saying that to me about my street preaching since that time so um, I'm wondering when it's going to wear off when's the zeal going to wear off? You know, I go through dry spells. I go through times where I've even kind of backslid on God and, and not not did any street preaching. And, and then I, every time I get fired up for Jesus, I mean, every time I just uh, feel His presence, I, I'm just compelled. I just can't help it. But Jesus told a parable of the two sons. He said the father asked the two sons to go work in his uh, um, field. One son said, I'll go, sir. And he didn't go. The other son said, I'm not going. But he ended up going. Jesus said, which of the two sons did the will of his father? Pharisees, of course, said the latter son, the one that, that actually went. Well, if you look at the motives, both of these sons, they really weren't motivated, were they? They weren't motivated to go, but what it boils down to is who actually went. Who actually went and did the work. Um, I've been accused, the Lord told me that I was going to be accused of just uh, my motivations being just to either please God or please uh, other ministers. Before that accusation ever even landed on my ears, God already gave me an answer to that and that's what I want to share with you today. More parables. There was a father who owned a large house with many children. That house was situated by a lake. The father and mother had to go into town on some errands. And they left a list of chores for all the children to do. Well, the children were like do the chores later well you know dad mom and dad's gonna be gone all day i'm gonna go swimming in the lake and they uh they took the uh dad's rowboat out onto the lake out into the deep end where they knew they weren't supposed to be and they were out there paddling around in the water well, one of the children stayed home and was doing his chores. He, he walked over to the bank and he started bragging. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and you guys are just, you know, messing up. When dad gets home, he's sure going to be mad at you, but won't he be happy with me? <laughs> We've all had a, a seen a child like that, right? grew up in a big house. I didn't grow up in a big house, but um, I experienced uh, other kids like that at school, and nobody wants to be that kid. And in a way, that's what I'm being accused of being, that kid that's, that's I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and Dad's going to be mad at you. You better, be, you better start doing your chores. That's what I'm being accused of. And the Lord said, no, that's not what's happening. And the Lord told me, here's what's happening. The kids, 
disobeyed the father and went out to the deep end of the lake on the boat accidentally flipped the boat over and they're drowning another son that stayed home to do his chores he ran out with a pole to start trying to pull him in and reaching out there and he's reaching out to try to grab his brothers and sisters who are drowning and drag them to safety he's yelling at the, the other brother that's still back there sweeping the sweeping the shed out to come help and that other brother is like well I, I don't want to you know I want my motivations to be right look people are drowning people are dying and their trespasses and their sins dad when he gets home he's not going to care what your motives were he just wants you to help he wants you to save help save his children who are drowning and so think about that my friends if you question my motives I look around me and I see my brothers and sisters are drowning I could care less what other people think of me I could care less if anybody pats me on the back it's not about that for me. My heart is truly for my brothers and sisters that are drowning in their sins. And I have the I have the equipment. God has given me the equipment to reach them. And that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you for watching. God bless you. We the law, we've broken the law, we're lawbreakers before a holy God. God is eternal life. Glory to God that you hear what I'm saying tonight.